ground or no we just talked about how we met right yeah okay yeah right. so, how did we meet do you remember of course i remember <laughs> okay yeah. tell us uh, tell them tell well, them your side of the meeting story hi guys welcome back to my channel um I know that you guys like gist <laughs> so today i'm bringing you guys a different gist we're not talking about study abroad but if i did not come to study abroad i wouldn't have met this wonderful man <laughs> so today we're going to be sharing the story of how we met this gist you guys have been waiting so you want to stay tuned <laughs> but before we go ahead to start the gist hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out when i post valuable content like this and study abroad related gist as well okay so baby can we get started now i think so yeah <laughs> okay so so um yeah i was freshly out of a a relationship that wasn't so good for me and um i started thinking it's time to get to uh, get looking for for the one right mm. my my partner in life and um you know, I had done a lot of personal reflection and, and work um, by that time to decide, you know, this is what I want in a, a part. Um, so I signed up for some uh, online dating websites. Uh, the, the best one turned out to be called eHarmony. And, you know, I was, they, they make you do this big matching quiz and I, was messaging matches, had some video dates and so on, and it was terrible. And uh, also, I found that women weren't able to reply to all the messages they were getting. It's like men go on there and they get like one message a month. Women go on and they get like 100 messages a day. It's very, <laughs> very unbalanced. So I said, you know what? Let me just say in my profile that if you're interested, message me because... I'll message you back, right? And, uh, and so that's what I did. And, and then later that day or the next day, I was looking through the profiles and I found this woman named Zeno on eHarmony. <laughs> and my God, she was perfect, right? She's this, this smart, beautiful, amazing woman. And uh, I was almost thinking, gee, she's bit too good to be true these pictures are very high quality like it's somebody trying to cut fish yeah <laughs> i was like oh well anyway i hope she messages me and uh maybe i should let you pick it up for a bit okay yeah so um for me i've gone on this dating app he her money is a paid app and i highly recommend it for those people that are going into online online dating because it's difficult online dating really is difficult you have to sift and sift and sift for you to find somebody that makes sense if you know what i mean <laughs> so if the app is already paid then you know that it's people that actually care and want to really date that are there anyways that's by the way so i went there and i really did find a lot of good matches for me um i know that i spoke to a few people but some of them were looking for hookups some of them I could already tell that this one is not the right match because some people wanted, um, you know, they wanted to, they're very authoritative, right? They wanted to suppress the woman. That was what I got from the conversation. So I really didn't proceed with them. Anyways, on one day I was scrolling and I saw this handsome <laughs> looking man. And the way the profile was, I'm like, oh, more see, man, no. <laughs> so. When I saw the profile, I, I read through the profile, there were two things that I noticed from the profile. First of all, I could tell the kind of person behind that profile because he took his time to fill the entire profile. So I could tell that, okay, this person is a detailed person, somebody that took time to do these things, very detailed. I could also tell that this person is interested in dating because it's a lot of work for you to fill out that, that profile. So I could tell that, yeah, this person is, is interested in dating. When I saw him, I'm like, okay, should I message this person or not? Then on the profile, it was written there that, you know, I find that women get a lot of messages. So if you are interested in me, 
send me a message no matter what i am going to reply so i'm like okay perhaps i should shoot my shot <laughs> so i sent the first message i was like hi <laughs> And really, I got a response. So this was like at the end of when 2020, yeah? Yes. It was at the end of 2020. It was like right as the new year was Yeah, coming. towards the new year. Yeah, because... Yeah, it was like in the 20s of December. Yes. Uh, it was even after Christmas. Yes, it was after Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, so... And he, and, and he replied and we started chatting. Boy, man. It was... I had a very good conversation with this person, like... And the interesting thing about that, like if you've ever had trouble with dating like i'm i'm not the most slick guy in the world right and one of my fears in dating has always been that i'm not able to hold a decent conversation with her and what i learned when i started conversing with zeno was that when when you have stuff to talk about and stuff that you both care about and are interested in and that you share um, the conversation actually doesn't stop because she'll say something and then what I say builds to it yeah. and then she builds on it and, and the conversation, it's like starting a fire. It just keeps going once you've started it, right? Yeah. That was a new experience for me and I really, really enjoyed that. And then at some point you said, hey, why are we messaging on the app? We yeah. Should message on the phone instead yeah yeah and then we moved to the phone yeah we moved to the phone and, and, and then whatsapp yeah we moved to the phone and we moved to whatsapp this was like within two days because we really talked a lot we had a lot of yeah, messages yeah because i was our school was closed at that time so I, I really wasn't doing much i think you were off work then too i was on christmas break christmas break so it was during christmas break so mm -hmm. we had a lot of conversations that we quickly moved to move to whatsapp i was like talking about scene right we didn't want to waste time like just see see each other quickly and decide if you want to go ahead with this so you don't waste your time chatting here and there for months and and that's the other thing that that i've found with with the online dating is if you um want to wait three weeks or two months to really get to know them before you ever meet in person there's a good chance that it's gonna fizzle out yes. because you know that that body language that eye contact that like being in the presence of the other person it's a powerful part of connection right yeah and so i was happy that you wanted to actually meet <laughs> in a reasonable yeah. amount of time right because yeah yeah so we talked about we talked about meeting and we, we agreed that we're going to meet on the day after the new year january 2nd I Jan second, yeah yeah so when we talked about we agreed that we're, we're going to meet i know that we talked about i suggested meeting in the evening and this was during covid where everywhere was locked so restaurants were not open um so we had to meet like in the public place like a park or somewhere and I suggested in the evening and i remember you telling me that um no you rather not meet in the evening because you don't you don't want to scare me <laughs> and in my mind i'm thinking wow it's also a gentleman okay <laughs> Yeah, because we're like, yeah, he gets dark pretty early in the winter. So we're like, yeah, I don't want it to, I don't want us to meet when he's already getting dark. I don't want to scare you. I'm like, okay, gentleman. Mm -hmm. So we plan to meet on a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. was the Saturday. I don't remember the day, but it was on a Saturday. And on that, second. on the second, yeah, on the second. On that Saturday, we plan to meet in the afternoon, like two o'clock. Or something like that. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So on the day of the meeting, um, we decided to meet at the park Victoria Park at Victoria Park in Kitchener it was snowy like that snowed the previous day it was cold if you know that day temperature was like minus 15 or so it was chilly there yeah. is no way there is no way on a normal day I would agree to go to the park just because I'm looking for man <laughs> <laughs> because of man I agreed to go and sit in the park on a winter day oh wow <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I've never seen you spend so much time outside yeah. in winter since. Exactly, yeah, because it's, it's not my thing, but I'm like, I'm going to give this a try. So I get to the park, I arrive before you. So I get to the park, I was sitting in my car waiting, and I was trying to scope, scope the other cars to see who this person is. So I've seen his picture, I know what he looks like, but I've not seen in person who this person is. 
and then he finally comes i think you parked your car on the other side of me yeah. and then i signal you and he comes and i see him he bring he brought sandwiches he had drinks he had a coffee and he had this mat this mat and we got to into the park and found the bench and he cleaned the snow from the bench spread the mat on the on the on the seat and he's like seats he comes also with a blanket and everything i'm like wow i'm looking at this person <laughs> I'm like, is this person real? So gentle. <laughs> Such a gentle man. <laughs> the last thing that I could could have happen is is this this incredible woman agrees mm -hmm. to come meet meet with me to get to know me and and she freezes her butt off. You know, it's <laughs> it's terrible. So I thought, it's a park, it's beautiful, let's have a nice picnic, you know? So I got uh yeah, nice, nice sandwiches from Firehouse. Um, the coffees. Did I bring cream and sugar so you could do your own coffee, or how did that work? I no, I think I think you brought me water because before that meeting, you had asked me if I wanted a coffee, and I think I, I said no. Oh. So you brought water and pop with the sandwiches. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but you had coffee for yourself. Oh, okay, yeah. And then yeah, it's like you know a pic a picnic blanket for the bench and and a blanket to keep. Keep the lady warm. And yeah, it, was, it, was, it seemed like a good idea. Yeah, it was, it was. It was really good. It was really good. And the benefit of it is, uh, we sat there and talked we and talked. talked. <laughs> and we really talked. Like I've not had, I've not, I've not talked to anybody like that with that kind of intensity and had that kind of deep conversation trying to get to know somebody that I just met. Um, we really had a lot to talk about and it seemed like there was mutual interest there so it was it felt really nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking into her eyes was incredible and to this day it's one of my favorite things oh the I'm gonna, chemistry I love, you know? i'm gonna throw more light into that looking into eyes part you know as a worry girl that i am looking into eyes is not something that i'm used to but when paul started it at first i thought that okay maybe this is an Oh, you both person thing, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so but then I realized that it's something that he likes to do and he enjoys doing. And since being with him, I've started I've started doing it like like baby, look into my eyes. Like ah Tony, if you want Nick and pretty said like Tony lay my hair. <laughs> Anyways, so our picnic was so good. We had nice conversations and while we were there, sitting there, this girl comes and interrupts us. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, she comes and like, oh my god, you guys look so good together. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? I'm like, by all means, go ahead. It's to me, I'm thinking, okay, God, is this a, a good sign? Are you trying to tell me something? Is this an angel telling me that this is the one? <laughs> anyway, she took this picture, and up to date, we have this picture in our bedroom to remind us of when we first met. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that picture. I love, I love remembering that day. It was, it was, I had a really special time that day. And, um, so then, uh, we finally started to get a bit cold, didn't we? Yes, I would say that we're going to go in the car. Yeah, so we, we both went into my car. Yeah. And uh, I started the car, turned up the heat, mm -hmm. so that you would keep talking to me. <laughs> yeah, turned up the heat, and you held my hand. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, this, this hand-holding process, hand-holding business is also new to me, but okay, I have to be a gentle girl for this gentle man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we held hands. And looked into my eyes. I'm like, oh my god, such a sweet gentleman. Wow. And me that grand grand like this, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was it was it was nice. I'm gentle when when it makes sense, but I can also I can be assertive. <laughs> you know? I can I can hold I can stand my ground if I need to, but uh, this woman requires a gentle touch. Because she's a queen. Aw, baby. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think after a while, you you had to go pee. That was what ended that date. Do you remember? Is that what ended the date? No way. Yeah. No, no, I know it didn't. You know why? Why? 
because I didn't want to tell you that I had to pee because I didn't want to sound like I was asking to go to your place or anything. Okay. So we ended the... It was like getting dark. It was like five, six o'clock. Yeah, I, I think I, I lost track of time. Well, that you had someone, didn't you have someone watching Somto? Yes, we were Somto on that day. I don't remember. I either had him watching Somto or he was with one of my relatives. Yeah. But yeah, you kind of had to get, get back, back to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And um, personally, I didn't care because... Um, I can drive any time of the day. I don't, and, and we were in different cities, by the way, right? Yeah, it was an hour and a half cities. drive between yeah. us. Yeah. Um, and I, I was like, I'm not going to let an hour and a half stand between me and a, <laughs> an opportunity <laughs> like this, you know? Yeah. So I did it. And yeah, eventually we had to, we had to cut, cut things yeah okay so after that date we went home and we continued to keep in touch and we we talked throughout the week and we agreed that we're gonna meet again the following saturday so i was so excited i planned i prepared everything and then <laughs> i remember i was we were supposed to before the day it was on a friday you messaged me that um because of covid and everything going on instead of having an in-person meeting that we should do a video call. I was quite disappointed about the video call, but I'm like, okay, well, a video call is better than nothing. I really enjoyed spending time with him and I wanted to get to talk again in person, but we had only texted the whole week. So I'm like, okay, um, yeah, video call it is. And I remember on that Saturday, just a few minutes before 12 o'clock, that was supposed to be our date, I received a message from Paul by the way, he's Paul. I don't know if we ever talked about your name. <laughs> <laughs> and I received a message from Paul telling me that um, he would have to cancel our date for that day. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, is this a bad sign? What's going on? I'm like, okay, fine. Um, yeah, let me know when you want to meet again. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Was it the same day or was it a, a later day? The next. I think it was ne the next day. Okay. What and what 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 happened? Oh wow! And the next day, I received another message from him, telling me that he doesn't think that he's able to proceed with a relationship at this time. So um, he'd like to cut things here or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I was pretty clear that like. You're awesome. And, yeah. And and what was going on for me was I was um, uh, like I'm a software consultant. I build software for a living, and I was on this crazy COVID related project, and we were high. It was high pressure. We were pulling a ton of hours, and um, I still hadn't sorted everything out in my mind after my previous relationship it turned out I thought I was ready to start dating and I I realized that I, I wasn't quite there yet and I so I wanted to I felt so bad because on the one hand I felt like I was letting an opportunity slip out of my hands and I also felt that I was letting this wonderful person down and, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to take care of myself and I'm going to do this, but I'm also not going to be, you know, rotten. I'm going to make it clear to her that, you know, this is nothing about you or, or us or, or anything. It's about me specifically. Um, and that was really hard to do, actually. I was really disappointed, but... Well, on the, on, the, on the flip side, I really appreciated that he got to me to tell me that, you know, um, at this point, I don't, I don't think I'm ready because I'd rather have a man who is ready for this than coming in with all the things that he was dealing with at the time and, you know, knowing fully well that he's not ready and breaking me, breaking him. So, but, or ghosting you. Exactly. Yeah. And that was, that was what I was going to come oh. to. So then the next thing was that 
it, it, it takes a lot from, especially in this dating world where you go online dating, a lot of people ghost people when they are not interested anymore. Instead of them to just tell you, they'll just ghost you. So I also appreciated the fact that he did not ghost me. The ghosting is when you just disappear you, yeah, without a trace. Yeah. So I appreciated that he didn't ghost me and um, I felt like, okay, this is a decent, even though it happened, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a decent man. And I appreciate him for letting me know. And that was, I'm not also telling you that, okay, can we um, be friends and keep in touch and whatnot? And you're like, yeah, you're open to that. But on the second thought, after the conversation, I'm like, no, I just, I'm just going to let everything go. There's no need to keep in touch. And that was it. And you blocked me on eHarmony. Yes, I went ahead and I blocked you. <laughs> <laughs> I went on here and I hit the block button like, okay, block. <laughs> this man's not going to look at my pictures. <laughs> You don't get that privilege, no more, baby. <laughs> like, obviously, yeah. we're here. We're here, yes. Yeah. So, so it what happened? Right, yeah. What happened <laughs> next after that? Well, you need to watch out for the second part of this video. We don't want to make this video too long. So watch out for the second part. And you would hear what happened and how we finally... How this happened that we're <laughs> sitting here together and talking about this story, okay? So don't forget, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out when we post the second part. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun. And remember that if you think that you want to be in a relationship with somebody from another race, <laughs> <laughs> you need to go abroad to achieve that. You know, there's no way I was going to end this video without saying that. You need to go abroad <laughs> to achieve that. So you can also find me on Instagram at Zeno Jogo and Facebook at Zeno Jogo. If you are a TikToker, you find me on TikTok too at Zeno Jogo. Go and follow me on all my social media handles where you learn how to secure admission, scholarships, and even study loans so that you can relocate abroad. Just imagine if I did not relocate to Canada. <laughs> I would not be with this wonderful man today. Ha! <laughs> Thank God I took I made the move when I did. Okay? So I'll see you guys in part two of this video. Bye. Say bye, baby. Bye, <laughs>